Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say with hearts of praise, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 7th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 29, which reads, The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. Now, there's been something taking place in the news, if you keep up with the news, over the course of the last several years, and it is a disrespect for elders. It even goes as far as kids in these larger cities just run, running up to a complete stranger and punching them in the face, and oftentimes, these are elderly people. I, along with you, have probably been in the supermarket, and you've heard kids back-talking their parents. You've probably been witness to young people disrespecting older people. So I felt it was important to take a look at this this morning as a reminder of the honor that should be placed upon those who are older than us. And that even includes people like myself. I'm 51 years old, but if I see someone 60 years old, 70 years old, I should still pay them respect according to the word of God much less these that are younger people in their low teens, mid-teens, high teens, coming out of college, and not for any other fact except that they are wiser than us in their years of experience. They have paid their dues. Their silver hair is a testimony to the fact that they have endured many hardships, much pain and suffering in this life, and that is where wisdom comes from. And so to look at our text again, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 29, the glory of young men is their strength. And for those of us that are older, we certainly realize and appreciate that. But the focus this morning is on the second part of the verse, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. Now let's look at a couple of passages of scripture to see what the Bible has to say on this topic. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 32 says, Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, and honor the face of the old man, and fear thy God, I am the Lord. So basically this text is telling us the recognition we pay to those who are older is in honor to God himself. And so to be clear, what this is telling us is that when an older person walks into the room, we should stand in honor of them, recognizing the fact that they are wiser in experience. If you're familiar with the story of Job, you know that there were three friends of Job that gave him advice and tried to comfort him throughout his suffering. But the last person to speak was a young man by the name of Elihu. And in chapter 32, verse 4, it says, Elihu had waited till Job had spoken because they were elder than he. He had sat there quietly for many days while these other three men had provided counsel, whether wise or unwise, to Job, and yet he remained silent and did not speak a single word because he respected his elders. In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 1, Paul tells Timothy, who is a young man, not to rebuke an elder, but entreat him as a father. And what did Yahweh say in the fifth commandment? Honor thy father and thy mother. And yet the view of many is that the older person is dumb, is foolish. Their advice is not to be heeded. But that's the opposite of what the Bible tells us. We should be hunting down these elderly people and seeking wisdom from them because they have much to impart to us if we would only listen. You see, it's just a mere fact of life. The older we get, the more regrets we have. And that's why the saying is said, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would do so many things different. But we can't go back and do it over again. All we can do is advise those who are younger not to make the same mistakes. 
And that's why we should not only respect these elderly people, but we should seek their wise counsel. You see, Job chapter 12, verse 12 says, with the ancient is wisdom and in length of days understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. Now this, of course, is speaking of God, but the same principle applies in our lives. A teenager has much to share with one who is six or seven years old because he has walked that path, he's experienced that journey, and he might be able to save that six or seven year old from making some of the bad choices that he made even as a young teenager. And this continues all the way through to the time that we die. We can always advise those who are younger than us and those who are younger should always respect that advice and that counsel coming from that one who has already walked that journey. And isn't that why we follow Jesus, the wisest man who ever lived? For those of you who are accustomed to your Bibles that have a good knowledge of your Bibles, couldn't you save yourself so many problems if you had only heeded the words of the Word of God? And even now in our journey, don't we look to the Bible for wise counsel to save us and keep us from making those same wrong decisions that we made in the past? We find strength in them. And so friends, I want to leave you with this today. If you want something worthwhile to do with some of the free time that you may have, go down to your local nursing home, walk through, visit with them, meet with them, talk with them, glean their wisdom, because they do have much to say if we would only listen. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so thankful that you spent a few moments with us this morning, and I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will open your eyes, speak to your heart, and bless your walk with Jesus as you seek to walk so faithfully before him. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.